we're in this stronger journey right now. Uh, we're talking about three things, inviting, involvement, invest, right? And you guys were invited, you adopted inviting. Talk about how your involvement throughout the years, what that's meant to your life. For us, what it's unlocked is uh, friendships. Uh, we get a lot of friendships through uh, the, our closest friends through the people we serve with. But it's really just unlocked, just um, just a be in the hands of feet. We, we feel like we've been equipped to be able to help others. So in the midst of all this, you guys, you have this dream to leave Keller and move out to the country. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about how, talk about the dream home that you guys did in Paradise. Yeah, it, it really was our dream home. It had um, the acreage we wanted. We were able to have horses that we wanted. He built me the pool I had always dreamed of. We were literally living our dream. We went all in with, with this house. Uh, we went all in with uh, putting in a pool. We went all in uh, with chasing this dream. Um, and so, and it cost. Um, the cost was um, stress, uh, paycheck to living, paycheck to paycheck, uh, not tithing uh, 10% every, so we would fluctuate, you know, hey, this is a tougher pay period, so we're gonna only give eight. It, it just became a race that we couldn't keep up with. In the midst of all that, you guys, uh, you did make kind of a, a stake in the ground moment where you said, we're prioritizing giving. Oh, well, Keisha was on me for a good while about giving. Uh, you know, she was looking at the numbers and to see your wife uh, carry the burden of debt, but I could see physically what it was doing to her. Um, I started changing my prayer. Uh, I started changing my prayer. How do I lead us out of this? And so for us, it was something that we, uh, we latched onto and we just said, all right, God, where are you leading us? And then that led to giving up the home. One um, December of that year, I had a dream that we were uh, selling our home. And I woke Eric up and I, I said, this is crazy. And I have this dream. We sold the home and moved back. Um, and so he said, yeah, you're crazy. We're not selling our home. We just built the pool and got the house um, just how we wanted it. We're not selling it. I said, okay, I told you it was a crazy dream. Um, the next morning I said, how are you feeling? And he said, well, I, yeah, I still don't feel good. I said, okay. He comes back to me around noon that day and he said, no, I lied to you. He said, I've been wrestling with God since you told me. He said, you're right. We, we have to sell this home. I think what I learned through it was it's okay to wrestle with God. Like it, I didn't agree that when she said it, she said it and I thought that sounds absurd. <laughs> um, but in no way, after I, I, talk, I, I prayed with them all night, I talked to them, I, I, I've never had a night like that. And, but I knew that I had peace by the end of it, uh, that we needed to. And every decision past that moment, there has been a peace that I've had uh, with financial giving, investing, uh, that we've never had before in our in our marriage. We've been married now 19 years. Now the blessings have been so abundant that we can firmly say we cannot afford to not tithe. It, it's not it's not an option. It's just not. The sacrificial give was uh, something we. It wasn't just to get to the tithe. We wanted to work our way to a sacrificial give. We felt we felt God leaning into us and pressing that to say, you know, that this is something I want you to do. It wasn't easy. I really feel that. You just have to try it, give it a go, because it's really hard to explain on the other side unless you've experienced. And, and then once you know it, you're gonna sing it from the rooftops. Uh, and that's what it's been for us. Uh, we, we have uh, really felt that that's been um, just Holy Spirit led, it's been amazing. Yeah.